What's the crack, boys? I am ready to be hurt again. I'll say it now. Sixers. Obviously, I'm a Sixers fan, if you didn't know. Big up the Sixers. You know, round one, Brooklyn. Like, this season, we've been good. We've had some great wins. MB's obviously the MVP. James Harden, best second, you know, best second player. You know, top five, second best player in the league. Led the league in assists. Had some great games this season. Had a 20 point, had, had a 20 assist game. Tyrese Maxey's a great third star. Elite, free, well, elite, very good three point shooter. You know, in the high, in the low 40s, but that's still good. You know, 20 point per game score. That's what we need. Tobias Harris, I think, will be our X factor. Tobias Harris plays well, bro. I think we can very well go to the conference finals. MB's going to do his thing. Harden, hopefully, that Harden will do his thing. Let's, let's be real here. Maxi was great last season in the playoffs. Tobias let us down as he kind of always. Like, when Tobias Harris leaves the Sixers, bro, I'll have love for him. I'll have so much love for him, bro. He spent four, four, what, three, four years now he's been here. Bro, it's all love, bro. It's, been, it's all been love, bro. He's a great guy. Had some great moments in the Sixers uniform. Hit some big shots. Obviously, you know, obviously, everything else is kind of negative, but... I respect him. Tobias Harris can come up big, average 15, 16, 17. It's obviously, you know, Maxi, Embiid, Harden, they all need to score as well. You know, he averaged 14 this year, which is like understandable. That's still pretty good, but obviously he does have his bad moments. He's like, come on, Tobias, bro, get off the team. PJ Tucker, we need to utilize him more, get Tobias in the dunker spot and PJ in the corner. Like, come on, bro. How have it taken them that long to discover it? But anyway, obviously, Ryan won versus the Nets. I'll say us in five or six. Obviously, last season against the Raptors, it was that was dreadful. Almost blew a 3 0 lead. Doc Rivers has been better this season. I think it's his best season as our coach. He's actually been smart, he made right adjustments. Obviously, he has had his moments once again. But I think we'll have a, a a usual Sixers game where we lose one game. It probably will be game one. It'll be like panic and we just blow them out. Kind of how it goes. But once it gets to Boston, bro, it's like ah, yeah, like we're, like. We're a second, like we're a second on exit, bro. Real talk, real, real, real talk. If it goes higher, I expect you know second on exit. Give it one more year. We're just, we don't even make the conference finals, bro. Blow it up, rebuild, build around Maxi, get everyone out, get some good trade stuff for Embiid and Harden. If Harden you know stays, Harden could fucking leave next season, bro, or just leaves as a free agent the season after. But against Boston, we somewhat match well. We've had some close games with them this year, but Boston are just so good. Their bench is elite. Our bench is shit. It's not shit. We've got some good bench pieces, but I'm I'm not really confident on this. And if we play the bike, like, do you know what I mean? We can't get lucky. Embiid is doing a run. If you've seen, you know, people in the East, Giannis has had his run, Jimmy's had his run, Tatum's had his run, Tatum and Jalen Brown. It's like, Embiid is doing a run. He even knows it himself. So, like, like it can happen. Our like our team is good this year. We have no, number one. Well, we're top ten offense and defense. Every like most of, like almost damn near every time a team wins a championship, so we have a good shot. But if we play either Cavs, Bucks, or Celtics, I don't know. Like maybe we beat Cleveland. I'd say we would, but I wouldn't be completely confident on it. Maybe the Knicks just beat them, and then I think we beat the Knicks. But it's tough, bro. Like we're in a weird spot. We're like two T. Like this is the best record we have like the best team we've had in the NBA era and there's still two teams better than us it's just so unlucky man obviously if we you know if we drafted better and smarter we'd be a fucking dynasty by now you know we've had Tatum in hindsight Ben's a bad pick but I think if you go like it kind of was the right pick at the time Markel not exactly like when I looking back at all this stuff it's like ah, yeah, he probably could have just picked Tatum or just someone else bro donovan like like there's so many much players you could have just picked but it is, it is what it is it is what it is i think a series versus boston i think we can definitely you know push him maybe take game seven i hate playing boston bro losing time in the playoffs is the worst especially at the guard at the td garden bro it's horrible i just get flashbacks off the 2018 series it's a b bro god damn against boston bro tame i think tame will light us up you know we don't like we have we have good defenders Embiid's great rim protector, one of the best rim protectors in the league. Even perimeter wise, he is good. Harden gives his best effort. Everyone gives their best effort. But obviously, you know, we've seen games against Boston, what happens. We just kind of suck defensively. And we have. Sixers have. How, how do I call it? We have a choke in us. We have a big choke in us. Prime example last game against Boston, bro. We had that comfortable win, bro. We almost choked it. We have a huge choke in us. Obviously, Doc Rivers has a choke in him. We kind of have bad luck around us, I would say. But I am hopeful. We gotta beat Brooklyn first, bro. That's like that's how it is. 
versus Boston, I'd say Boston six, maybe seven. Like, I think a good. I'd make another video on a prediction. You know, just based off how we do against the Nets, and you know, game one against Boston if they win, which. If they play Miami, that's a tough series, but Boston should win unless you know, a huge upset happens. If we play Miami, I think we're beating Miami, bro. Miami are washed now. But official prediction. Sixers make round two, lose to Boston, six or five, bro. It, it's tough. Like I said, after as well. Give it this season. Just run it back one more time, bro. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we have to be extra, pa Maybe we have to be extra patient. And then if we underperform or... Just don't make a conference finals or the NBA finals. Just blow up. Go go let Embiid have his prime somewhere else. It's it's not here, bro. Go get Harden somewhere else. Rebuild around Maxi. Maxi's like, what, 22, 23? Like, it's really like, it, like good question, bro. If, did the process fail? Yes and no. N yes, and like, we probably won't win a championship, but no, in we were competitive every year, like, Maybe that's cope, but like every, every year, bro. Apart from that twenty twenty season, like nine nineteen twenty, but technically we were, like we were champ, like we were favorite. Not we weren't the favorite, but we were like in that discussion of favorites. That's what the process was about. It was we're taking a team that was dog shit, getting them draft capital to draft superstars, which we obviously Embiid's a superstar. Then we got Harden, who's a superstar. Max is a young star. Ben Simmons was a star at one point. It's like obviously. The idea, the plan worked, but obviously you wanted to win championships, but shit, sometimes you just fall short. And it would be very disappointing if we didn't win a championship, bro. Ask me 2018, I'm like, yes, we're winning one. We're winning one with Embiid. We're winning one, at least one. And it looks like, like we definitely can. We can 100% win a championship. The Sixers have just, you know, disappointed my expectations over the years. So, yeah. It would be somewhat of a disappointment because we... MB didn't even retire here. If we like, if we train, bro, he could just say his whole career. I'm just speaking hypothetically. But yeah, let me know if you think the Sixers are gonna disappoint.